So I'm now going to show you how to make audiogram videos. Now, you might have be seeing these popping up all over the place. And the reason for it is that I think it's something like 80% of all online viewing is done via video or something crazy like that. So video is an incredibly powerful medium. But obviously, we're dealing with podcasting, which is audio based. So these little videos are a great way to effectively create a visual representation of the audio that you're creating. They are super engaging. They get a lot more click throughs than just audio in terms of promo. And they're more engaging than just a static graphic as well. So these types of little videos work really, really nicely. Now, you might have been seeing these popping up all over the place. They've become mega popular recently. And you might have thought, well, that's great if you've got a videographer, or if you've got a, a big budget or you've got a big company. But there's the, a couple of really good little apps out there now which will help you to make these these audiogram videos, these promotional graphics that are quite that are quite easy to use, to be fair. So I'm going to show you two of the most popular ones. I'm going to show you the back end of Headliner, and then I'm going to show you how to actually make one using a different system called Wave. Now, I've been using Wave for a long time. There are a few little glitches within it. Um, it it's a it's a smaller company. Uh, sometimes there's a bit of uh, there's a few little bugs and errors, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. So I'm just shifting over to Headliner at the moment. But I'm going to show you both because both both can work. It, you know, it's horses for courses. They relatively do the same sort of thing. So I'll just show you inside the the back end of Headliner. So you can see what these little videos do. So you can create either like a little audiogram, or you could do a whole episode. You can do video transcripts within Headliner, or you can do these podcast audio, auto videos. So what we're going to look at here is these little audiograms. So they tend to be sort of sub 60 second little promo clips that kind of, as I say, have a visual representation of the audio content that you're sharing out. So if I just show you one of the previous projects that one of my um, production team at my agency has done for me. So let's just use this clip here as an example. When it loads up. So here you can see, this is the sort of the image that you'll be seeing. You can add in uh, a graphic and you can add in the audio and it will create what's called this audiogram. So again, you might remember, you might have seen these, well, you have seen these before if you've been watching the videos in real time, which I encourage you to do. You know, when you're using Audacity or GarageBand or one of those editing softwares, you you would have seen these sort of waveform videos before. So in a lot of instances, that's the only thing that you've got in an audiogram video. It's a static graphic, but then the moving part is this sort of waveform field. So if I just press play. If truth be told, I was totally burned out. I've always been a bit of a career girl. I'd work super hard. I'd work super long hours. And at that point in my career, I think it was starting to take its toll. So there you go. So it's a great little power clip, you know, sharing something that's going to engage your audience. I'd listen to that and be like, oh, I want to hear the rest of Kelly's story. She's one of our clients. She's mega successful uh, marketing extraordinaire. Ex extraordinaire, is that how you say? Extraordinaire. Um, so we just use this, the standard artwork. Just put this waveform video on and utilize a, a little clip. So it's relatively quick to do that kind of content. You can make it much more uh, complicated. You can do much more stuff to it. But again, if you're just trying to create content that engages quickly, because again, one of the things you don't want to do is end up spending you know half your week creating assets for your podcast if it's not sort of your your sole or primary focus. So I'm now going to show you Wave. Now, before I go into Wave, I, I really, when I first discovered it, and this was a little while ago now, I was like, oh, this is absolutely brilliant. It does have a few glitches and hitches in that a lot of the time, annoyingly, you can't scroll down the page. They're a smaller team, like a much smaller team. They, they just have these little bugs. It's super annoying. To be honest, if you're going to learn one from scratch, you're probably better off, better off to use headline, as I just showed you a minute ago. But I did use Wave. Uh, some people find it more user-friendly. Some people find it easier to use. So I'm just going to show you around how to create a waveform video. And I actually do it in real time so you can see. So when you come into Wave, you'll uh, obviously have to set up your account details if you decide that you want to use those guys. Although, as I say, uh, for my money, I think Headline is probably an easier platform to use. Now it's got more, more user-friendly. And by the looks of it, it's a bigger organization. They've got more money to throw at stuff. I think they've got more developers. They seem to have more tools popping up. But just to show you how to build a quick, simple um, waveform audiogram video. So if I click on new, I could either go for start with a template or I can start from scratch. So let's go with a let's go with a template, shall we? So let's say that I want to go cover art. Let's go cover art here. So let me go upload an image. And let's go, I've got my desktop here, so let's say I want to use this image here. 
and the waveform color i'm going to change this in a minute anyway which i'm going to show you so i'm just going to upload this so that image there is now going to sit on top of this sort of template so i'm going to go generate template cool so you can see now the image is over the top of the sort of the template and that yellow waveform is there but that obviously looks horrible so we're going to get rid of that so let's take this out so you just click it and highlight it and delete it so if i go down here i can now there's these sort of various settings that I can choose. So let's go to waveforms. So this is the moving sort of the audible version of what the sound is doing. So for example, I like that one. That looks cool, doesn't it? So let's use that. Let's move this around a little bit, get it in here. There you go. It doesn't look nice in yellow there. So let's change that out. So we can change the color, click confirm. So that's now gray. That looks all right, doesn't it? So let's make that a bit bigger. Excellent. Okay, cool. So by and large, that's all right. So let's come out of here. Let's say we also want a progress bar. So let's say we want to be able to show people how long the progress has got to go. So let's say we want to use that gray again. Confirm that. Let's just move that around to somewhere that we want it to be. That looks all right, doesn't it? Let's stick that there. So we've got now got a progress bar at the top here. Got our artwork and we've got a, a waveform over the top. Now, you might be thinking, well, there's a load of wasted space at the bottom there, but we're going to use that for something in a minute. So you click Save, and now that's that's sort of compressing the two, the, the various elements together, and it will show you an example there. So you now see my waveforms moving around. My progress bar is going to be moving along. And then it asks me to upload an audio file. So I'm going to upload this audio file, which is about 30 seconds long. So you can hear, you can just double click, you can click here and just test the, the file that you, you've uploaded. Make sure you've uploaded the right one. There you go. So that's the right one that I wanted to use. So happy days. I'm ready to now generate the video. So I'll click generate video and it does its magic. And you can see the little waveforms working away. So if I go down here. Right. So let's go here. So that's now working. It's thinking about it. It's going to probably take about 30 seconds to process a 30 second video. It's not always the quickest wave, but... It's not a bad system. It's very, it's very simple. That's that's the the benefit I'd say of Wave. It's very, very simple as opposed to Headliner does loads of cool, clever stuff. But if you're a simple kind of guy or girl, and I used to be a simple kind of guy or girl, but now I'm thinking, do you know, do you know what? Let's get more complicated. Let's use Headliner. It does more cool, sexy stuff. But we're just going to wait for that to load up. Cool. So that is now um, uploaded. So I can go view there. I can see my video. I've got to do. That's cool. Or here's another thing I can do. So I said a minute ago, we sort of used in this wasted space. So let's go add captions and create a transcript. And again, it will have a little bit of a think. And now you can see here, this is the transcript that it's taken from the audio and it's not always 100% accurate. It's, it's fairly accurate, to be fair to it. It probably gets it right about 80% of the time, which is not bad. But so what you want to do now is listen back through and then you can tweak as you go and make sure that it's, uh, you know, correct. I've got, I've got business to do one area of my life, which was studying to be a physio. Yeah. So I don't want myself. So you might not want, for example, you might not want, so that, yeah, where I was talking, that doesn't bear any relevance really. So let's get rid of that. So different route. So if you just double, you can just double uh, click on a particular word and then you can start editing those words, but it will continue to play. So as you're going through, it's going to sound horrible for the purpose of this video, but you can see how quick you can actually edit the wording. So again, there, yeah, it was no relevance. If there's any particular sections as well which you think are too long, you can just click to where you want it to go and click this add button and it puts a gap in. There you go. So let's just say that we're happy with that audio now, but we don't like the styling of it. So you can go into your styling captions and I've already got a... Um, a, a style that I've created. So if we edit it based on that style, so you can see it's changed look and feel. So I've got a, a, a text or a font file that's more aligned with the branding of my show. And you can choose from you know various different ones. Let's just say, let's move it around to give you a different example. Let's say, let's make it Sigma. Let's go Sigma one. And you can choose the, the text size. 
You can choose the colors and the fonts, the outline color, the shadow color. You can also choose the layout so you can move it around on the page and you can set the the caption background to fit the text so it will change as, you, as it gets bigger and smaller. Or well, you can have it fit the width of the, the page the whole time so it stays consistent. So again, what I might do is I'd, I'd set up all my sort of font settings that I liked and then go, okay, well, that's too long because it's now going over the top. It looks bad. So I'd go back to the editing, my captions. I'd go into this section here, which is the bit that is playing at the moment. It's always highlighted. And I'll just put a gap in there. So now I can see that it's going to not, the, the text won't be going over the top of my audio file, if that makes sense. Again, that is now going to go over the top of my audio file. So I might put another gap in there. You can just sort of click along just to make sure. So that one's going to be too big. Change as you go through. Here you go. So let's put another gap in there. So again, that looks all right now. Perfect. So you know, I'm sort of happy with that. I'm happy with the word and I'm happy with the layout. Obviously, I wouldn't use that layout because it looks terrible. But just for the sake of this video, so I can now go. Oh, let's go back here. Click edit. So we play it from the beginning. So the reason why these are so powerful and the sort of the, the use the the rationale for using the transcribed audio is the fact that a lot of people now I think it's something like sixty percent of videos or something crazy are now played on social media because obviously a lot of the settings are set to autoplay they'll play them without any sound so you might have made a a, a great little clip you might have made a cool little video you might have a moving waveform graphic etc etc but when someone's scrolling through social media they might not even be able to hear what's going on so you know the waveform graphics the waveform moving up and down maybe that'd be enough for them to go oh something interesting's happening here but it also might not be so transcribing the audio is a very powerful way to make sure that people actually then click onto the content or they see the context of the content of the video before they even hear the sound, if that makes sense. So that's how to utilize audiogram videos. And again, there's other ones, uh, there's other platforms out there in the marketplace, but these are two of the most popular ones. Headliner, as I say, if, if I was you and I was starting out from the beginning, I'd probably be utilizing something like Headliner because it has got a lot more functionality. It has got a lot more tricks and stuff up its sleeve. It's probably a little bit more complex to learn than Wave, but there's just a lot more, there's, there's a lot more you can do with this than you can with, with Wave, which is quite a basic software. But again, depends on horses for courses, depends on what you like. If you want something simple that's very quick to use, then Wave. Also, if there's something that you've got a little bit of patience with occasional tech issues, Wave's your one. If you want something that's complex, it does all the bells and whistles, Headline is the way to go. But Audiogram videos, mega valuable in the run-up and the promo to launching your powerful podcast, but also on an ongoing basis, really useful for promoting and marketing each and every episode as well.